I heard that they're extremely wealthy, like worth 25 million and shit in that other timeline. They took a lot of my blessings. You know, I just like I did was in die. I ain't gonna fucking hold back. That's what I woke the ass, you know. I saw a lot of people taking my fucking blessings and spirit world celebrities and all that and like us. I I hate that Alex Nascimento. I hate the Mokalas people. You know, like I said, I've been putting in the research trying to find who put this shit on me. I hate them motherfuckers. I hate them motherfuckers for what they did. I've been trying to get to the bottom of who are the energy vampires and all of this. And who took all my shit. It's a very complicated, very complex situation. And, you know, I'm just, like I say, man, it it hurts to face reality, but seeing my family like this is what broke me. My spirit guys, higher selves, were telling me, and they actually showed me through my third eye that my dad was killed in his sleep. My Ashley Hanstead, Victor Terrer, Victoria Terrer, Zadaya. That's the girl from Destrehan, Louisiana, that died in her sleep, supposedly. President Dyer, I, like I said, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm going to need to get some clarification. He got placed in the roach room where he was tacked to a cross at the roof of a building, the roach room. And he was being steadily eaten by giant cockroaches. And he was so fucking scared that they had to, you know, Alex not see me to remove his eyes. I, I got some evil fucking shit on me and he's some evil shit surrounding me, man. Like I say, I ain't had no fucking spiritual protection going in. No ancestral. No. Um, nothing. Not one in there cold. And these motherfuckers are keeping me stuck. In the roach realm, in the realm in the astral plane, where I mean, it they make it fucking worse. They destroy my consciousness, kidnap, take certain parts of it, aspects of it, so I never, you know, to them, hopefully get it back. You know, I'm constantly being energy vampired off and being put down. Told you, uh, I want you to be a prostitute. I want you to be a crackhead. All sorts of evil, like shit. I mean, like Baron Sam with the curses that got put on my life. I don't want you to be anything. That hurts. That hurts. And then to have you distance from your, your blessings, man, that's what hurts the most. From to see see your family get hurt during the course of this thing, that's the thing that fucking kills me. Motherfuckers don't understand that. That killed me when I saw the fucking truth earlier. That killed me to see my dad like that. I never would imagine in a million years my dad living on the fucking streets due to a fucking curse. Like I want to kill these fucking people. I damn near killed their asses in their sleep today. I'm not gonna lie. I got murder on my mind when it comes down to these people. I'm not going to lie. I want them dead. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and exit out. Um, I'm going to do an article tomorrow because there's a lot here that needs to be saved, but I'm running out, running out of time, so I can't really say everything. So to all of you out there, I just want to thank you all for your blessings, your words of encouragement. This is evil, man. Nobody, I'm just going to say it like this right now, man. Nobody deserves this shit. Nobody deserves to be fucking sacrificed like this, you know what I mean? The other fucking night, 
as little as I got in terms of spiritual power and abilities, man. I I was woken people out of hell realms, every fucking thing else. 125 hertz, 156 hertz, spray spirit jars. 125 hertz, along with 1185 hertz, frees people from hell realms. Remember that. I remember when I used to vlog and teach people, and that hurts. I can no longer do that because of evil, nasty, cruel, conniving ass motherfuckers that need to die in their fucking sleep. When you're dealing with an energy vampire, 451 hertz frequency is your friend. 1449 hertz frequency. Bucks their consciousness up with energy vampires. Peace. Protect yourself. Indian shield swords. Indian shields are your uh, friend. Peace. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this video. Because a revelation that came to me, you know, I've been known about what I knew. But what I saw in the spirit world today, man, it just, it completely fucking floored me with my family. And I did fucking eight part minute fucking video talking about it, man. I mean, I, I was hurt. I was fucking hurt. With that being said, I'm going to pay anybody $200. $200. For the names of the people. That put this shit on me. I'm not a rich woman by any means. I live in a homeless shelter, but I do have two hundred dollars. I really want to find out their names, cause I'm gonna tell you something. Every single fucking night, I can't fucking sleep without being afflicted by and harassed and tormented by their motherfucking entities. Constantly energy harvesting off of me for every little bit red scent that I got in the motherfucking astral realm. Tormenting me for my consciousness, tearing apart my child consciousness. That's the latest thing they've been doing to try to keep me from getting back to my timelines and shit. You know, getting back to my blessings. Um taking my consciousness, mixing it around, putting it in under pe other people and all that other shit. You know what? Let's say 200. I meant, hold on a second. Let me think. I meant to say 100. With that being said, I damn near killed one of them last night. You know, they do something in the astral plane where they block you from being able to see where they at. All you have to do is just take your, your thing, plug it in the astral plane we all have like a motherboard that we're connected to that has your ancestors and all of that and them motherfuckers took minds they took minds out of my consciousness all that fucking bullshit my angelic protection my connection to it. one point put me in a fucking blender and shit in the astral plane talking about crushing my bones and all of that there's hertz frequencies that you can use to rebuild yourself. One is 135 hertz, and that's a very simple hertz that can be used to rebuild yourself, no matter your situation. Um, with that being said, there's another 135, 117, 17 hertz that's very good for regeneration. With that being said, um, you know, I'm, I'm sick of it, man. It's just like, I feel like I'm trapped in the fucking box. I jar my damn self, you know, like my parents were in the roach realm by, um, 
that Malibu shaman. Um, Nick, Nick Bearden or some shit like that. Mickey Allison. This is how he looks. That's how the motherfuckers look, but that's not them. With that being said, I can't get over how the motherfuckers actually feel entitled to fucking feed off of me like that, man. That's the thing that pisses me off the most. I'm willing to pay. You know, instead of saying 200, I'm going to go ahead and do 100. Because I think 100 is sufficient. I'm going to pay you $100. I got the money. I think 200 is too much. Go ahead. Pay $100. To anybody out there. Who knows. Who they are. Where they at. Mostly I want to know their name. Like the Google dogs. I just want to know their name. Because this shit. This infuriates me. The next vlog I talk about, I mean, this shit tortures me. Where I should have been in life with this fucking curse. The way this curse got me, man, is this is fucked up. I forgot to mention the people that are involved. Their names are Nini Ocala, Ethan Ocala. There's another one called Mickey Addison. He's associated with a guy who drives a painted car. He has dark skin. Looks like he's Native American, but he speaks with a full-blown English accent. You can't miss him. Um, from what I understand, he drives a white town and country, and he lives up there in the mountains um, in Topanga Canyon Boulevard, I believe, Sweetwater. Bay, Bayview or some shit like that, Sweetwater Canyon. And he has a two-story house, and he's an investment banker. That's what I saw in the Astro Plane. I don't know how true. You know, I know I saw in the Astro Plane when I had a poltergeist attachment placed on me. I got I got to do so much soul rescue, man. It's not even funny, you know, for myself. You know, I'm overwhelmed because it's just me on my own, man. I, I don't, like I said, I got a shitty ass spirit team. I don't even trust them. Um, I really want to know these people's names. Um, I'm desperate because, I mean, these motherfuckers got the upper hand. With their roach attachments, their spirits, poltergeists, they've been unleashed, gnashing on me, demons and all that. Um... Shield yourself from something like that. 616 Hertz Frequency is your friend. That shields your consciousness. Um, there's also something called a virtual Indian shield. There's all sorts of frequencies you could use to shield your consciousness. Um, you know, use frequency if your spirit powers like mine's have vanished and you're being energetically fed on like me. You know, like I said before, I want to know the names of these fucking people because I'm, I'm fed up with it. You know, I'm fed up with having, from what I understand, these three rich ass motherfuckers feeding off of me. I'm also saying this, I think their last names might be Stevenson. I kept, when this curse first happened, I kept hearing that Barbara Rayner has dark hair and blue eyes, but, you know, when I heard her speak, it was a German woman with a strong German accent. And I know she's associated with these people because whenever I hit them, it affects them. Them and their higher self. So again, $100, give me the people's name. It's, it's worth it in this situation. Peace.